I kid you not. So I've started packing for something that loosely, loosely resembles packing. Just got back from dinner at Kevin's house. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Lighthouse, for having me over for Sunday dinner and for these mosquito repellent tricks. So now I have to go unbox and film some blog mail and blog mail, like blackmail. I don't know. I don't know. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. Good amount of stuff to unbox. Um, I'm gonna go change. Hi, I know, I'm sorry I left you home. I love this shirt, shout out to Shane. This is my little brother's shirt. Does anyone else love stealing their siblings' clothes? I could only imagine if I had a sister. Are you kidding, Nova? My dog knows how to open the door. I wish I got that on video. Start with this one. This is from La Bella Donna. So here is what they sent me. This is, oh, Hershey Kisses. <gasps> oh, they know me too well. So there is a lip liner and lip color. Ooh, and a beautiful, I don't know if you can see it. How do these beauty vloggers do it? I'm about to give up. Uh. Okay, it's in this really beautiful nude, but there's a little color to it, the lip color, which is a little bit creamier. And then liquid eyeliner, which I literally live, I gotta stop saying literally. I don't know if you can see it, but this looks like a really nice tip, if you can see that. Oh wow, this is really pigmented. Look at me trying to sound like a beauty blogger. I'm really excited to use that. And then this is compact color bronze. Oh, I saw this one on their Instagram. I'm very excited about that one too. Here's a better look at them up close. This is the bronzer palette. This is the highlight cream color and it is gorgeous. It's half blush, half highlight. So thank you, La Bella Donna. Thank you, Kathy and Nicole. I'm so excited to use these products and obviously eat the chocolate. A package from Influencer. And Influencer is a company that will put you in touch with brands that you go through and you, and you answer all these questions and they'll put you in touch with brands that they think would be a good fit for you. This is the Hourglass Veil Primer. All right. I was like, oh. I thought it would be like in a pump bottle. Oh, I was excited for this one. This is a brand that I know a lot of bloggers have worked with. And when they reached out to me, I was like very excited just because I love the concept of it. It comes in this cute little bag. It's an underwear subscription, but you can either choose, I didn't choose which I wanted. So excited. I don't want to say it wrong. Siempre Golden. Anyways, they make really adorable bathing suits. And since I'm traveling, I'm normally not a fan of one pieces, but this one, I loved the way it is tied. Oh wow, there's a stain on it. That's a bummer. Um, it looks a little orange in the camera, but it's more of like a red suit and it has the tie that goes around. Anyways, I'm sure you'll be seeing this on the blog. I'll retouch the stain out. I used to always shop this brand freshman year of college because they had very affordable options and especially I would just wear things once and kind of like ditch it. A few staples from there, like I love their bralette. This is the Everlasting Lace Shift Dress. I thought this was interesting because it has these sleeve things. I don't know if it's exactly something I'd wear all the time, but I figured traveling, switch it up a little bit. It's black. Your Heart Shift Dress. This is a really simple black dress. It has really cute kind of keyhole cutout type things. This is the Lonnie or Loni maxi dress. This ties up by the neck and then it has a low cut back. And then in the front, it has these slits. And I could even wear this on the plane. I like maxi dresses on planes. It's just comfortable. See, I love when brands write handwritten notes. So far, La Bella Donna, you're in first place. And you sent me candy, I mean. 
this last brand, um, when they reached out to me, I actually hadn't heard of them, but they have some really cute, what am I trying to say? Handbags, leather goods. I always wonder what things look like in person versus online, so. Another reason I want to do this unboxing. This is a cute little bag. I like that it's structured. It's kind of unlike anything I have. I think my laptop would fit in it. Take it with me to work, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. Update on Coco Vaughn. Um, Stop saying um. They have a ton of new stuff on their website that's actually way cuter than this bag even. Uh, there's black and there's a new black and red bag that I love. So if you guys want to check that out, that's more of my style and I'd probably is towards that versus the navy bag I got, just being honest. Oh, you want to see my dog open the door? <laughs> I'm, I kid you not. She's great. Now I'm gonna teach you how to close the door though. Can you close the door? No. All right, still so much to do in so little time. Ow! <laughs> you nut job, be nice. I severely underestimated how long it would take me to shoot a flat lay. I haven't done this in a little while. Oh, I think I got it. But in reality, this is what happens. I'm like, oh, I need to get one flat lay. I think we got it, and if you're watching this, please go like it on Instagram because flat lays never do that well. Now I'm trying to get... All right, let's see how this... I already have some on, but I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker. Oh, sh I might have um, dried it out. It's what happens when you uh, have to get a good flat lay. I don't know how that eyeliner is gonna go because I may have just ruined it trying to get the picture, but La Bella Donna, I got you your picture. It, it goes on nicely. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired and I'm doing crazy shit? Okay, I still have to pack. I wanna edit today's vlog since not much is going on after this so I can have it up tomorrow. So when I go to get my nails done and my eyelash was done last minute, it's already 11, so it's past like prime time to post on a Sunday, but I'm gonna do it. So I need you guys all to go and like the post. Pretty please. I really wish that I used um, my vlogging camera to take those pictures because the iPhone 7 is great, but maybe the light was too low and the photos like aren't the highest quality. Are you okay, first off? Editing. I should be sleeping. No one cares.